Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use the temper cakes. Uh, the temper cakes are tempera that are dried, so they're a little bit like watercolors, but they're a lot um, more opaque when you paint with them. That means you can't um, always see through them. Opaque means something you can't see through, so it covers a lot better than watercolor does. And they start out dry, so the way to activate them is to get them wet. So you're going to need your paint, you're going to need some water, and you're going to need a sponge to kind of wipe off your brush in between colors. And you'll notice they kind of get holes in the middle as we use them. That's perfectly normal. What's not normal is for these to break into tiny little pieces. If that happens, that's because somebody was banging on them and not using them correctly. So, to activate them, you just get some water and wipe it on the paint a little bit. You don't have to rub really hard. You just need to get it wet and then once you have paint on your brush then you can just paint with it and then in between colors of course you're going to want to dip your brush in the water wipe it on the side you never want to tap because we don't want water spraying everywhere and then you can also wipe it on the sponge that'll help get some of the color off and then i'll dip it in the water a little bit more so that i can get some red because I think I want to make some orange and then I can put it right over this yellow and it dries fairly quickly this yellow pretty much dried while I was talking so I might get a little more yellow and mix it in to really get my orange color so if you're going to mix them, just mix them right on your paper. They mix pretty well. We're going to try not to mix them on the actual wells. You just want to get them wet and you can mix them on your paper. Uh, the more water you use, the lighter the color. And the more paint and the less water, the darker it's going to be. If your color gets really dirty, like this white's getting pretty dirty, what you need to do is just get it wet. I'm going to wet it with my brush. And then you can gently take a piece of paper towel and just kind of wipe it clean. You don't want to scrub it. You're just going to wipe it. Okay? Um, I notice with the white, if you try to do the edges too much and clean the edges too much, it kind of starts to fall apart. It'll kind of start coming off in chunks. So I wouldn't worry about the edges too much and just work kind of from the middle for now. And when it gets like this, a lot of people want to tell me, oh, Miss Howard, there's no more paint left. But there's still quite a bit of paint left in there it's just on the side and that's just how this paint works when it runs out because a lot of people go from get their paint from the middle so all you have to do is rub your brush on the side and there is plenty of paints there as you can see and that's about it when you're done make sure you rinse your brush out wipe it on the side of the water container wipe it on the sponge and when you put the brush up Remember, it always goes heads up. You never want to stick a brush down like this. And I think that's it for temper cakes.